um, 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 the uh, uh, IMF and the World Bank has now shifted its its crypto um, uh, Ripple Net Cash and their their Ripple means of transferring money from one part of the country to another through a wallet into the Bank of England and back into Westminster Parliament. They've gone there. Yeah, they, they just did that now. And I'm letting you know, you are the Irish to head the American Irish off to think they know what to do with a foreign government country against you being closer to Ireland than they are from a different, um, a different monarchy, which is Pope, Catholic, and you are Protestant, which is with me. I'm going to um, New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, because Scarlett from France is there. I'm going there because they are Protestant there too, to head off the Australia where Eddie Mitchell has put the 17 trillion, which is what I'm claiming for you <coughs> and your right to the lease of this country under the same Irish family that my family's from Ireland too. And, uh, and so it makes you closer to the truth of Irish people that have the eight-point star on the flag. That is the Municipal Corporations Act of St. Patrick Church that King William III Dutchman did all his corporate business in Ireland. Why Ireland is the richest country in the world is Ireland. So every road leads yeah. to Ireland when it comes to the monarchy in Westminster, which has been taken over by the Muslims that are now swearing their oath of office in Parliament to Allah and the Muslims. And then now the, the, the Catholics are coming from America with Pope as the sovereign against you, the sovereign of the documents I've got, which puts you right in the firing line of them that are alien more than you are here as our partner. They are not our partner in America. They are alien of the Pope, Catholic Church, against you, my partner, in our same Irish heritage of the power of that flag and its four stars, 8.4 stars of Municipal Corporations Act, 1835 King William IV, to pick up the rent on the land and give it to you, not to those Irish in America who have gone there and they have broken our law of monarch line, bloodline, and they're coming in as foreign Irish over you, the local... How are you getting on if you lose me? You said you are going to get a bus and you're going to go to promote the Kaitiaki around the country. Yeah. So, How are you on with that? Yeah, so that's, I'm just ready to sign the contract with you and me of the document to go as a E-State AI federal flag government of this country over the government in Wellington. You can set them in Wellington now because the document says that's time for them to go off our native land. You are native born on the land, so am I here. But they are not as native as we are, closer to King William and his authority to give to you. So I'm, all I'm doing is giving you the authority to do a king's job. And nobody can tell us about how that works. Only us. I'll be your surrogate, but you are the name Irish king of the documents not of the country, of the documents. Because it's their documents against our documents, but your bloodline with me partners here as expat Irish. And I've got Sean Maguire, my friend. I've got Sean Maguire. He's a Protestant over there in Ireland that was living in his car at the time I was living in my car here. We were both on the street. And he's on the radio over there. He's got, he's got his own show in the bag. So I'm going to get on the radio with him tomorrow and tell him, OK, we're ready. Because I went to Ireland to claim that flag and with, with those Irish there in down Patrick 
in Ireland, and that's all set up with you as just one Irish that can connect to Ireland. Not so much Dutch, but to Ireland, because the Dutchman mm. did his Please law. Tell, please, that I went to one of their meetings, and they're talking about being in debt. Who's, who's this? The whole council is basing all their monetary borrowing and everything on, on a debt currency. Yeah. Who's, who was that? And, uh, who was, who was that? The ratepayers are fed up with it. Yeah, no, I know they'll be fed up with it because it's all bullshit. But they want some honesty and truth in who they represent as private corporation. That's all the government is, a private yeah. corporation. It's not a real government for us because now they are crypto salespeople. They are selling yeah. crypto and the crypto is, 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 um, uh, is, uh, um, what washed up uh, money, what's washed up money, that's fiat, um, uh, laundered money. Uh, so I'm doing the laundered case of money and, and proceeds of Crimes Act that's turned into the new um, ripple net cash money that they say in their lineup of and fiat money as a commodity. So they're making their, their fraud corrupted fiat money prop up their new cripple um, net cash. The cash to uphold the cash but then they've got a free reign to make the value go up, appreciate and push the value of their new US dollar with the Pope's head on it when they print it. You know when you filmed that last Wednesday, yeah, yeah. you've had about 150 views. Yeah, I know. They're, they're waiting for this. They're waiting for you and I, Jack. We're going we're gonna to let them know um, what's happening now that now that the IMF and the World Bank and um, uh, Rosie Rios, she's the director of the IMF, World Bank, and also, it's funny, she's the director of Ripple, the biggest um, uh, rip, um, uh, crypto that they've gone and owned, that's the federal government, and they're shutting down all the other cryptos, and they're keeping Bitcoin and XRP as tokens, and sell the little bits, then shut it all down. They're shutting down New, New York Stock Exchange, and guess what? They're stealing our London Exchange. They're going in there as billionaires and millionaires of all the governments that have gone in with them, and they're going to put the government's money behind their new ripple crypto money that controls everybody. And me and you are going to sort that out and tell the people what's happening because they need to know now and all the scam is happening down in Wellington here. They are going fast, they are selling their crypto and you know, nobody knows how it works but they're still selling it to the people and saying oh you'll be better off, Winston's got his one, Peter Jackson's got his one and Jess Henders got her one and the Prime Minister's got his one. They're all salesmen selling their crypto because that's all they've got in their mind, money. Money and the Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, the ripple is appreciates thousand times over in two years' time. It'll be worth a thousand times percent. See, so instead of having gold as, as, as collateral to uphold the US dollar, they've thrown away the US dollar and they're using a new US dollar called crypto ripple net. See, so oh, ripple yeah. net crypto is the new, ripple yeah, ripple, uh, ripple net is the new cash to replace fiat. But in their uh, in their mandate, they have and fiat as a commodity. So fiat, right. fake. Doing that, is it the Jews, is it? No, the, just the Congress. The, all those people oh, there, have, uh, led by Irish. You see, yep. so those are Irish against us are Irish here, my ancestors are Irish, but they are going under King William's authority of how to make money and how to get on land. Only he's got the title, only he can get you on and off the land. Only King William, because you don't have to be Dutch, you just need to be Irish. Right. And so that's what it's going to be. You're there, I told Andy, our, 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 our fellow uh, up in Britain, in Greece, I said, no. Jack's a king because I've appointed him there, 
and my little group has appointed them. That's all it means. Not petitioned, not uh, um, not voted, no. On the, then we just stuck you there because it's our job to put you there and claim what we are claiming as native-born people of the land. We're all the same. We are not equal. Uh, we're not separate Maori or anybody else because the crypto has made everybody numbered. They're all numbers with a press button to make you jump up and down or or, or, or your own nothing and be happy. Our narrative is your own everything and be happy. That's our narrative against their your own nothing and, and be happy. Mm. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah. then I'll see me on Wednesday. Yeah, see me on Wednesday <clears throat> and I'll just go through my placard and when I finish you can carry on from there because I need six yeah, minutes. Yeah, I'll give you what? Six, yeah, eight, six, minutes six, eight minutes, eight minutes. I should go through yeah. cleanly without any interruption and then you can talk everything you like after that. But then you are officially the king on our documents, straight to New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, and they are Protestants there. I've just set it all up for the bank there, for Scarly from France. They are the kings of, 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 of the money transfer and bank. So Scarly France is the money bank transfer better than the crypto and the Pope is the sovereign. You're the sovereign of all the native sovereigns of the world, not just here, of the world. The, like my document says, they can't beat it. They can't do anything about what I'm doing because that's why I'm keeping going. That's why nobody, nobody argues against me because I tell them, no, this is the way it is. And that's the way it is. You're Irish, I'm Irish. Okay? Okay. See you on Wednesday. All right. There, that's Jack. <clears throat> I just caught him, I just got the camera on and got it on with him just to explain everything. So that's 11 minutes, 12 minutes of a video. Pre-Wednesday, he knows now, he's the king of our documents. And I'm saying that to Andy, I chose him, me. Me, the surrogate king, chose the Irish king. Not the Dutch king, <clears throat> not the Dutch king, the Irish king. But he's doing a Dutchman's job because he said, I think King William III is his ancestor. Don't worry, because the Catholics and the Protestants are joined together in Ireland and the Northern Ireland is the Protestant and the Southern Ireland is the Catholic. Okay, so Munster here and Ulster here is the same Munster and Ulster over there. The blueprint is here for the British title and us with Jack and me partners, we're partners, no other Irish in the world can get near me and Jack. Jack is an expat from Ireland, okay? It's got the idiom, is guardian protector. See, it's King Talk, guardian protector. I'll put it on my website, I'll put it on my Facebook site. Go and have a look. I'll put his name there, his name, Ilium. It's there and the meaning. And I've got my name of my name meaning. Wanoa is Wa, beginning of time and space, and Nor, N O A, the law, L O R E, truth. And Liam is a guardian of these lands, native to British native magistrate, King's Bench Court. <coughs> See, okay, you got that? I was waiting for him to ring so I can have a little talk to him. But I didn't have my camera ready. And I just clicked it on and got him there. And he understand. He got it. Boom. Just like that. He got it just like that. And those cheeky Irish Americans are going into the, his native magistrate, King's Bench Court in England. Soil land of King William III of Orange and him in Ireland, and me in Ireland, and I'm going to ring Sean Maguire, he's the radio, uh, out of the bag, out of the bag, and I'm going to talk to him, and he can talk to Jack, Liam, and we can join forces as the real original native, Irish, in the blood. Okay, my blood ancestor, Rogan, John Rogan, and James Cosgrove, the lawyers, the judges and the lawyers with the brain, the Irish and the Scottish. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got that. And I mean what I say. We're going to fucking clean everybody off these lands. That's 
not Irish. And he's just saying to me, oh, what's this about the bass? I said, oh, the bass is going to turn up at the Parliament and throw them in the back, in the jail. And 120 of them, in the bloody jail. Well, so why? Because if Jack says so and I say so, that's the law of Kingdom the Third, of Orange. Okay? The War Powers Act, 1689, Constitution of Westminster Act, 1689, Bill of Rights Act, 1689, and the Bank of England Act, 1694, and the two-bar patented, assented royal permission of the Pound Note Act, two-bar patented Pound Note Act, 1694. Okay, those instruments, and the 1835 flag of King William IV, Constitution Act, 1835, Municipal Corporations Act of all corporations in the world, 1835 Act of Westminster Parliament, and the <coughs> Trading Bank Free Passage Through the World Flag of Passport and Immigrant Legal Instruments of the 1835 Flag. Okay? Free Passage Through the World Passport for native sovereign Jack Liam, the real king of our documents, and me the surrogate king for him and his ancestor, King William the Third of Orange. Denmark. Okay? There, he's the one that stuck the laws together for us in Ireland and my Cosgrove family and my Rogan family. There. <coughs> okay? So he's going to put the icing on the cake for us, uh, Putty Rivers and Robert the Car and uh, Brian Workman. <coughs> Jack is on board with us to make our documents in Papua New Guinea and the Protestants there. 64% of the people there are Protestant Christians and 26% Catholic Church people there, Christians, all Christians. And me and Robert the Car, he's a Church of England, I'm a Church of England, bishops in the church with the birth certificate title that we're going to put in the bus. One of the bus is for the birth certificate and our native DNA title to these lands in one of 600 buses. Okay, one bus for the bloodbath for the people in the parliament, 20, 126 are going to get the jab in the bus with their own medicine. Five shots, five shots to see how good it is. And we're going to do it, whether they like it or not. That's the law of Jack Liam. Jack Liam, and Liam is our king of our country and the world. He's the king of the world, I told him, and he's the king of our documents all over 257 countries in the world, and the lease land <coughs> rent to pick up for the British Crown, and we take over the British Crown and the Bank of England and throw the Rothschilds into the sea and throw them on a tin boat to Rome. All those politicians here in New Zealand are going to Rome. We're going to sit them in an envelope and a, a container ship. A, a, a container itself, not the ship, the container, and one toilet in the container. The, the steel container with a little bead on it and a little table and just look at each other. Yep, you're going to get thrown in the jail on the side of the road in a big trailer that's got bars on it and a hanging rope. Hanging chain sack is in. Okay, it's in. We're putting it back in <coughs> as well as every other act we're going to put there. The Corporations Act to arrest you and the control writ warrant to give to the military that comes from bricks. Okay? I'm going to get Alibaba to hire 600 drivers. They are uh, army trained apprentices. They've got to be a jack of all trades. They've got to be a diver for lessons here in New Zealand. They've got to be a pilot on a helicopter and the plane and, and the surveillance plane that goes around the country every day. 
uh, 500 miles out of the territory and including the Arctic. We're taking over the whole Arctic as well. And all those bunkers, they're going to get ripped out with the 600 buses pulling up and 600 soldiers with the vest and the revolver in there. They don't have to fire a shot. But if you break our War Powers Act, you'll get shot because this is the right law and you haven't got no law, it's over here. The title to the native land is here and it belongs to Jack. Okay? Everything I say is Jack Liam's <coughs> authority. He's now our king of Aotea, New Zealand, Dutch country, and also the king of Westminster Parliament. Chuck the bloody Muslims out because they're immigrants. Go home or go to Rome, one of the two, go out and the England people that's on the streets, thrown on the streets, get back into those properties when we go with 600 buses over there and do the same thing all over the world. 600 buses have pop. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to have a sleep soon because I'm meant to be asleep but I was waiting for Jack to ring and he rang and good. It's, I had a talk with him and Andy, I've talked to uh, Jack, he's more or less accepted the position he's going in <coughs> and uh, I'll know on Wednesday when he makes a statement on the video when we do a number 61 court hearing with him and the people in Hamilton that will be watching and he said he, there was 151 views of the video that I put together and he said Many people are watching the last video. When they see today's video, they're going to scream and laugh. And with joy and laughter. And freedom. This is a freedom movement. This is a freedom movement of native-born people of the land, all equal. <coughs> no one's higher than the other. The only one that's at the top is Jack. He's on the payroll now. He's on the payroll. And we're getting our money back from Eddie the Thief and Eddie Mitchell and the Mitchell Family Trust that spent our 17 trillion US dollars lease money to this country from 1823 King George IV and a Paramount Chief, Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Parehere Manukau <coughs> lease whole land which is over a thousand trillion but Eddie Mitchell took 17 trillion so I'll take that and then take the rest after that in Edinburgh, Scotland. That we can go there, Jack can get the authority from here and the real Freemason to go and check it out because the Freemason, as far as I'm concerned, are with us and they own all the legal documents of transfer of native land from native countries, 257 countries in the world, to the British Crown under King William III and King William IV. Not Queen Victoria, not the Rothschilds, not the Pope, not anybody else, but the native-born people on England's soil land. And Scotland and Ireland are in the British UK Parliament in Westminster, and they will help me, and Sean Maguire in Ireland, and, uh, and uh, Jack Liam here, talk to Sean Maguire, get him to come on the radio with us on Wednesday next week, to have a say to what he's going to do. There's the Irish over there, and I'm... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, Irish over here, in my Cosgrove, James Cosgrove, and um, um, uh, Rebecca Wainor, the marriage in my family, and also the Dick Rogan and Uraiki Wainor on the East Cape as well, that title to Ireland, and also John Rogan <coughs> in um, Kaipara, uh, Monaco, um, Moriori, um, Moriori, title of... Um, Paramount Chief Mohi um, um, Manukau IV. Okay, nothing to do with anybody in the Manukau family because this is straight Freemasons <coughs> title and I've succeeded to Mohi and that Freemasons title and I expect to talk to a Freemason here in New Zealand with Jack and he'll sort out that in Hamilton. Okay, because that Freemasons in Hamilton, he said, was hijacked by the Freemasons in Ellerslie, Auckland. The big shots there that have come from Awaroa, <coughs> Helensville. Freemasons there in the lodge there, 
have come to their main office in Ellerslie, and the Freemasons in Hamilton, Jack was saying, being hijacked by Ellerslie Freemasons. So I'm going to sort it out with Jack, and we get our native title, and we get our native people together to rally around us and his little half an hour show, Radio Free FM Hamilton, and uh, um, and uh, uh, iHeart Radio and uh, TikTok <coughs> connections to anybody who wants to listen to the radio. But I'll put it on our Facebook site and website, Moai, M-O-A-I, Powerhouse dot world. Moai, M-O-A-I, P-O-W-E-R, H-O-U-S-E dot world. W-O-R-L-D. Go there, scroll down the bottom of Confederation Sovereigns on that page and go right to the bottom and you'll see the documents there for now because I've got 87 Facebook sites. I've got to split everything off and chuck them in their right uh, sites and that's a big job for me. I've got to do that and straighten it all out. And you'll see my website. A lot of the videos have been knocked out by Facebook and YouTube. They don't like truth. And that's what they're doing, ban me on Facebook for doing this video when I first started, or the one before this. You'll see that one where I'm upbeat and um, I'm talking to Andy and uh, Morris got upset a bit. And now I'm not upset. I'm glad that, that uh, Jack came on just on a Sunday when he's on his own. The best time is when I'm one-on-one, -on -one, not with a lot of other people talking about something else. It doesn't work when there's too many people talking. I want eight minutes, I say to him, just me talk, nobody else. I'm talking there for Jack, Liam, <coughs> and supporting him as the king of our documents, the king of the world, and the king of Westminster Parliament to boot those Muslims out, the whole lot, clean them out of Parliament, clean the whole government out, and put a new one in of local people. Okay, and boot the government in Wellington out before they sell their crypto to us. It's fraud. It's scam. Don't touch it. Don't touch their scammy crypto because it's still fiat, washed up, corrupted, laundered money and proceeds of Crimes Act. That's spilling out again into a new US dollar with the Pope's head on it as the head of their sovereign, his sovereign people, that he stole their DNA and bought it for 4.75 billion and US dollars and he's made the ripple net the new cash that replaces the fraudulent washed up fraud fiat money scam and makes the US dollar, new one, with his head on the cash money, if they print money, they'll print money out like it's gone out of fashion, and got the ripple crypto they've taken over with Rosie Rios as the director of the newly acquired ripple cryptocurrency, and making it one way crypto sovereign. So, Pope Crypto Sovereign versus Jack Liam King's Chip Coin Sovereign of native born people on the land in 257 countries. Okay, two sovereigns. One, Pope, Catholic Church, and the other, Protestant Church, Jack Liam, and his Chip Coin that will strip the Pope's crypto ripple net cash that's fraudulent washed up laundered money and proceeds of Crimes Act that Jack is going to throw at their fucking face and build them before we get them off our native land of England, native land of Britain, UK, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, as Britain, UK, no Hanover, just Britain, UK, <coughs> especially 
Northern Ireland and New Zealand. Ulster there and Munster here, South Island. Okay, so that's Ulster Munster over there in Ireland and Ulster Munster here, the blueprint mirror image of Ireland here. Me, Irish, native, Moai, East Ireland, Dutch, country founded, and Irish white man DNA marriage. We are the dominant Tahitian <coughs> nation of this land, indigenous, total of us. And Jack is an immigrant from Ireland as my partner in business. Corporation of King William III. Corporate flag, King William IV, 1835. Declaration of War flag, War Powers Act, 1689. King William III of Orange, Battle of the Boy. To raise money, which is what we're doing with the money from Eddie Mitchell stole, we use that, raise that money off him and <clears throat> put it behind Jack. Liam. To create a private army of 600 buses, 20 helicopters, big ones, 40 ton helicopters, and three Chinese passenger planes, the new ones, and also jet aircraft, about 20 of those. And the army, our private army of 18 year olds to 40 year old, will be the new BRICS recruits from Alibaba. I'm going to put the contract to them to find them and to bring them here to drive the buses <coughs> and to be a jack of all trades. And Jack the King is a jack of all trades. And I'm there to speak for him because he doesn't have to know anything because I will know everything in my head, 50 years, and it takes too long for him to know everything so he can rule as the King of Britain, UK and Ireland. A real Irish here and those alien Irish in America can stay there and not come back to England. We don't want them because they've gone with the Pope corrupted sovereign. So everyone in this country in New Zealand is the Pope's sovereign. It's going to take a long time for you to get out and put you into a native court. won't work because you'll just fall back into your Maori ways, your Pākehā ways and can't change. So we're going to get the young people apprentices and teach them. It's better to go to the next generation down and teach them the right way. The king's way. Not Charlie, because he's no good. He got no admiralty, no continuity of sovereignty like King William IV and King William III. Continuity of sovereignty and a line of descent from king to king to king to king. No queen. The queen corrupted our king's corporation title. And Andy, because you're in Greece, I've got to talk to Jack about that because you told me that Jack is no good. He's the wrong person. You know what I said to you? I'm running this bloody show, not you. I'm running the court, not you. And what I say goes because I know who's the right one for the job. Not Greeks, not Romans, not Germans, not in anybody else, not American, not you, not anybody, but Jack Liam. Because his name, Liam, is guardian and protector. That's what I want to hear. What Jack says, I accept. That's all you have to say, I accept. Because Ernest Augustus never answered me. Never answered me. I wrote to him, but no answer, because he's been hijacked by the elite have paid him off and he's still alive in London. If he wanted to be king, he would be there ahead of Jack, but because he's not there, Jack is the king. Okay, by default of abandoning. You abandon the battlefield. He who leaves the battlefield or stays silent loses the battle by default. Because you're silent, not answer me and my videos and my letters and my documents, 
the answer to it is you lose. Okay, you lose. Uh, Andy, everybody loses because these videos are lethal. If you don't make a video to cancel me out, I'll cancel you out. And Jack will finish the job off. All he has to do is sign. He's on a payroll. He's on a king's salary. Better than a queen. Better than a president. Better than any of you. Corporate thugs and pirates on the high sea. You're on the high sea. Your court is way out, bloody miles out at sea. You're going back where you come from, in the sea, because we're going to boot you back off our land. It's not your land. You're just bluffing in New Zealand and bluffing in America. You're all bluffing. And you're supposed to be the land of freedom. And Israel is not the promised land. You don't fight and kill and shoot and maim kids to claim Israel and Palestine as Israel because Israel is going to get fucked off the land. You're going off the land because the buses will turn up there too. Not the buses. I'm going to put the money in the buses. And they'll all be carrying holsters and guns in the holsters. You break our law, poof, gone. Because that's how the law works in the King's Bench Court. It's a War Powers Act. Because you'll abuse our War Powers Act by killing people to get other countries and alienate them with our law. No, this is Jack's law I'm talking about. This is Jack's Irish law. And all those companies that are in Ireland, we're going to seize the whole bloody lot. Yes, we're going to seize the whole lot. All your banks, all your crypto, all your everything. We're going to seize the whole lot. Because this court says so. I've got 50 years up on you lot. And I learned crypto in one month. And I know it back to front because it's easy. It's criminal. It's criminal. It's injustice. It's fake, it's corrupted, it's fraud, it's Ponzi, pyramid scheme of money making without people's interests at heart. You're only after your own wealth. Well, we're going to take it off you. We're going to take it off you legally without a shot being fired. And all your chemtrails, all your planes in the sky, down. Because these buses are going up and the planes, their army, private army planes, will go out and catch you and bring you down to the ground and strip you and boot you back to Pope Land. You're all going back to Pope Land. On your plane and gone. We'll tell Pope to send a plane to put you all in the plane. Gone. And you marriage to and you parkers and Winston, you two, all of you lost in Parliament, you're fucked. You're fucked. Because you're fucking us around. You're fucking us around and it's time for us to fuck you around on our land. You said that, Winston Peter, come out of your fucking mouth. Maori is not indigenous. Yeah, see, you. After all these years, I wasn't there with you. That Tohinu burnt your photo when I put on the hui at Te Unuakamara in Hickson. And that's what I saw. The photo be ripped up by Tohinu. He wanted to be the boss, not you. They didn't like you. They hated you. Took him over and he the Morgan Banks. See? The bank. The Morgan name. Morgana. Morgana. Kohere. Morgana. Morgana. Kohere. Morgana. Morgan. The banks is Rarawa Kohere. You see? That's what I'm saying. Your name comes out of Morgan. Can't fool me. You can't fool my way. And you're going to get booted out because you fucking trespassed me on my bloody land at the East Cape. And for that, you're going to get fucking booted, Rarawa, because I don't want you there anymore because of your bullshit fucking against me and put you and your brother put the fucking trespass and the police on me and that police is going to go to they're going to go with a trillion pound on your heads each you're going to have to pay that bill I'm going to strip you I'm going to strip you all because you fucked 50 years of me off with your Maori title right Karen Fox you too all you Horamia all you Te Kanawa Mana Te Kanawa in the Maori land court in Kama Street in Papatuaga. You two. All of you people in the tribunal, all of you people in Natifata Oraki and Natifata Kikaipara, all of you fucking lot is bullshit tribe. Natifata is bullshit. And you, Tihat, uh, you and your fucking family up there in Kaipara and trying to make your family in Raglan, you're all in the fucking same boat. Fucked. 
we come down the East Coast to learn all about the walkers down there. They're on my fucking land too, with their name all over it. Where's the one? Nothing. You folks got your name all over it. I'm going to put my fucking name on there and boot you off. Because I don't care fuck about you because you didn't care fuck about me. Okay? Gave me a hard time when I went to the camping ground there. You see? Not to do this, not to do this, this and that. Don't tell me what to do on my fucking land anymore. Because I've had enough of you bastards. Fucking Maoris. Fucking Maoris. Fuck this country. Fuck up back to front. Just like Alfred Mitchell calling fucking Moriori Manukau. Tira Waikato Wharehere Manukau. A woman, you fucking little bastard. And Eddie Mitchell pinched the fucking 17 trillion of my fucking higher intelligence. Right? You fucking bent my fucking intelligence. With your fucking brain. No, no, no property developer. I'm going to strip you. I'm going to strip your fucking family, living it high while I'm fucking suffering on the street, in a car, sleeping in a car in Hamilton, right? And then I go and stay in a house, in his house, and pay rent, cash, only cash. Right, you fucking mongrels? Both of you, fucking mongrels. I'm going to put you in the jail. You're going to jail and look at each other with one toilet, with all of you bloody bastards. That's what I mean, what I say, because i got Jack now, to clean you bastards out, okay? He's going to clean you buggers out. And take that money off you. Because I told Jack, it belongs to him. And all the native peoples in the world waiting for us. They're not waiting for Mary, they're waiting for the natives. The ones who know everything about how law works in a proper king's bench court. You can't run a ping king's bench court, Gregory Cook. You can't. Because you need 50 years of experience to do that. And Michelle Coco, I think we part ways because you've got to go with the Pope and the money. Crypto, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the crypto as well because I've got Bitcoin, but I'll convert it over to Chipcoin and shut the Bitcoin down. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Shut it down with Jack. Me and Jack. Two Irish. One black and one white. Yeah, that's it. And Sean Maguire in Ireland. Waiting for me to call him tonight. I'm going to call him with Rejoice. Why? Because we got Jack Ilham to talk to Sean McGuire out of the bag. Island, island, and sleeping in the car on a side road. Okay? Him and I were the same at the time. I was in my car sleeping on the road, and he was in his car doing his radio show out of the bag, in his car on a side road. Okay? Someone took him in, but he, they kicked him out because I think he wasn't happy there, but anyway, he's my king over there. John McGuire is the king of my documents over there. Okay, I went there to go and unveil St. Patrick with our flag on his gravesite, and those people in the church wanted us out of the place and didn't respect me there and didn't respect the flag of King William IV and Ireland. So, we're going to clean them out. From Westminster, clean the Westminster out, chuck all those bastard lords out for nothing, lord good for nothings out, and clean the city of London up, and clean Westminster City Parliament up, and burn the fucking thing down if we have to, or put homeless people in there, and make a new parliament. AI Moai Crown King William IV, AI Federal Republic Government of Westminster City. England, Britain, UK, crown, Jack Liam's crown, and throw Charles in jail, and throw his family in jail, because he's corrupted paedophile, and Finchy Street, and all that rubbish that happened with that mongrel with the smoke in his mouth, that mongrel. Yep, they're all in the same boat. So yeah, that's all. I'm going to go and call my mates in a moment and just put this video straight up. It's online now. It's on my YouTube and should be straight on to um, Facebook in a minute. And then I can put them on my Facebook site and send this one to Jack. And he can have a little look at it and more people will find the truth. The truth shall be revealed 
and I have disclosed everything, so there's no need to go to court, sue me, Jack, or anybody with me when this court is telling you that everything is true and nothing but the truth shall help me God. I'm in the Church of England. I'm dedicated to my oath of office to St. Patrick of King William the Third's authority to use his church and eight-point star flag um, um, of the, the St. Patrick's um, Municipal Corporations Act of the flag um, of King William IV to pick up the rent of the lease lands in 257 countries in the world and divide all the recovered debt money, trillions of debt money, and put it into our bank in Papua New Guinea, not here in New Zealand, for now, put it over there because there's Protestants there. 64% of the population of, of, uh, of Papua New Guinea is Protestant, 26% is Catholic, and they're a Christian country, which is good, and also they are Scali, French, um, take pay, money transfer bank. Scarly is the new name for take pay. I've been in take pay through Singapore before with the mobile phone. And that was only money transfer of scam free money transfer safe system. I can give you a million bucks so straight to you in the mobile under a minute. And it goes straight through. And no mess around. No scamming. No no problem. So this is what the crypto and the World Bank is doing. They're trying to do the same thing. Only thing is, the Scali have been doing it since 2009. They are the experienced businesses that have joined them, and one of them is Tuki Tuki um, um, laundered money and crimes of of, of crimes of of money laundering, political white-collar crime. Okay, that's what we're doing with Eddie Mitchell. The biggest corporate scam in the world is Eddie Mitchell and his Mitchell Family Trust in Hamilton. And that's going to go down in history. As, yes, Jack, it happened right in front of your nose, right with the Freemason in there with Eddie Mitchell, the property developer, but he didn't know. I was too fucking slick for him. Know too much. And he's going to get clobbered. I'm going to take all his property off him. Each of those over 100 real estate properties, and they are million point six each, or more. Three million, four million, five million, eight million farms, big farms in Tamihiri and, and in the Mount and in Queenstown and in Tokoroa and Rotorua and down Kinloch and down, down Topo and all over the place. There's properties, he's picked them up through the lens then transfer into his Fano Trust and his Ahu Fano Trust and Alfred Mitchell doing the transfer of the land from Maori land into from from Dock land. The Dock land. He got the Dock land for, for next to nothing and then did the property development, put houses on it, then sold the whole fucking lot and make that money. Okay, I'm going to see the whole lot. And Alfred, you'll be in jail with him we're sharing the same toilet with all the other politicians. You're all jammed into one fucking prison on the road. One big fucking truck and trailer. Yeah? Truck and trailer. The container truck. The container truck with this container trailer and bars on it. And cold as shit. And one toilet and one table to eat on. And just a little table. That's all you're going to get. No fucking communication. No nothing. You're going to fucking learn the hard way. What you did to me is steal my intelligence. You stole my intelligence through espionage, fraud, corporation, theft of titles, land titles, history, and company. You stole my company now to a while or to limited here and put it in the IBC, supposed to be an international bank corporation. It wasn't. It was he fooled me. Eddie Mitchell fooled me and said, the IBC Bank. You know what it was? International Baptist Church. The fucking church. That's what he was, gone through the church to hide it and hid it in Australia. 
in real estate. Right, I found it. I had to go through all the trouble. You're paying for all the trouble for me to go and check everything to find where you hid that money. And you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for it dearly in the trillions. And that's why I'm seizing all your property because I'm worth 17 trillion just like that. That's what I'm worth. What you stole out of my brain. This is an Irish brain. And this is a Tahitian brain. And this is Maui statue's brain, God, Atua, stay up there. That's why the company is called Na Atua E Wa Aotea Limited. Atua the God forever. Right? Atua the God forever. Na Hoefa, walk on the earth, a point star, and don't fly that fucking flag anymore. No, anybody. You fucking, any, any Moses up north, you fly the flag, you're going to get pound out. You've already got a pound out of your head. Kohiro got pound notes on the head. You've got pound notes on your head all over the place. And the army, private army of bricks is going to pick you up. And chuck you in jail. Because I've warned you. I've warned you fellas. Ignore me. If you ignore me, you're going to get it. Right? The fucking buses will come and get you. Right? You've got no choice because each driver is army. Every driver is army and they fly the helicopter, fly the plane too. Because in their spare time, they're on a simulator in the bus. And they've always got something to do. The computer, they're literate in computer, communications, army, pilot, diver, and captain on a ship. Okay, they've got all those skills when you join this private army. I don't want anybody here. I don't want anybody here because you've corrupted the little kids' brains. You've corrupted their brains. I'm going to strain everybody up. We're going to have our own doctor in the bus. We're going to have our own bloodbath for DNA and all that for our own native people DNA to check who's got COVID and who's, who's clean and who is an immigrant. And we're going to check all your bloody names to see if they're real or bodgy. If you've got a bodgy name, off the run. Okay, you go to run. Post you there in the fucking container, on a container ship. Or fill the container up with you in a chair, like this chair. You sit there all the way and go up and down, up and down, in the boat. Too bad, because that's how you're going to travel, in a fucking container ship, on the fucking wharf. Okay? We're going to put our base up over here in Marata, around there, on the land where I say. We're going to put the wharf, new one, over there. Okay? All the buses will go there. All of the Chinese boats will come there. Loaded up. Six of them. Okay? Jam full. Helicopters, planes, boats, and everything. Okay? For the army. The army comes first. Not the Air Force, not the Navy. The army is flying the aircraft as going around the country every day, 500 miles out. Every day, a two-seater jet goes around. Him and his co-pilot goes around and checks the sea all the way out. If you see any chemtrails or any ships out there fishing, bang, the fast boat will go straight out and pick them up, drag them into the court, lock them up, and seize their boats. You go out there, your boat's going to be seized. Okay? Anybody that's in the, in, in, in the government's uh, programs in the sea was going to be seized. All your documents in the parliament are going to be seized because they belong to us. All of your information, all your land titles, all of your uh, businesses in the corporation and the government with Queen Victoria, Queen and Charlie and William and Kate and all that monarchy is going to get the fucking bill and rough up. Okay? The army will rough you up because we don't spend any nonsense on our native land. And all the land native lands in 257 countries in the world will be financed by the New Guinea Papua New Guinea government and us, the Protestant in Papua New Guinea. That's why I'm going there. Protestant and Jack the Protestant. Jack Liam, King of Britain, UK, New Zealand and Australia, Canada and Pacific Islands world. Jack is our King of these documents of 50 years of research coming to closure. Very soon. And there, Jack, 
that's a ode to you, and um, uh, what you call it to you. That's my commitment to you as your spokesman on your behalf. And you'll be on the salary with our staff, Love the Car, and um, Pare Rivers, and on the sideline is Brian Workman. He's there as our doctor and as an overseer with looking after our bank um, equipment here in New Zealand and I'll be carrying the mobile to run the whole show on private as well. And my son, my adopted son, um, Kieran Bento, is going to learn, he's 14, by 18 he'll be flying the private jet for me to get around the world with two jets on the side to make sure we've got army following us around everywhere I go. Okay, that's just me and my family and uh, the army people who work in that plane looking after me and looking after our business, our corporate business. The corporate of all corporates with a corporate flag of King William IV, not a whakaputanga, fucking stupid utility flag. You can go and jump in the fucking lake and bury yourself. Don't use that flag. Anybody using that confederation flag? For anything else other than what I'm saying it's for native land titles, it's going to get the top, right? You're going to get a fucking bill on your head and a chip coin on your head and a pound note on your head, cash pound note, and cash you in, okay? Don't care about your land, your married land or whatever, because your Pope owns you and your married land and your Lynn's land, he owns you in that. And I'm saying to Michelle Coco, I'm afraid, that I have to part ways here and just carry on myself with the native court and Jack and he's my man now and uh, I don't need your services anymore. You can carry on because you found me as you are only in a year and with Greg Woodcook found me in a year and that's our ties gone because I'm now with Jack. Liam and his Protestants in Hamilton, Cambridge to Cambridge, England, and Westminster Parliament. Okay? We're taking over Westminster Parliament and the City of London and also the Bank of England and the Pound Note, two bar Pound Note, to squash out Rothschilds and their enemy for us and sold us off to EU Parliament and gone with those crooks in the World Bank and IMF and letting them back into England and hiding underneath them to give yourself more power. No, we've got the power of King William III to get you off the land because you got on the land through King William III of Orange and his immigration law and his Bill of Rights law, 1689, his Constitution of Westminster Parliament, 1689. And because you violated our laws of King William III, off you go, back to Pope Lynn. You can go and live with the Pope and we're going to strip all that Vatican, underneath the Vatican, and strip all those and give it back to the native people of the land and boot all the immigrants off it if they want to. And that goes for America too. You're going to get booted off your land by the original natives and the people that want to live with them there. And they can have their native land back and we can all live happily ever after with the narrative we own everything and are happy with the crooks gone. Okay, gone are the crooks, um, Liam. You are the man, I say you are the king of our country here in New Zealand. And we go with Sean Maguire in uh, Ireland and Paul Brown there too. He's with me when I went there to stay with him and his dad in uh, that place, um, Kinder, Kinder something over there, in, uh, in um, Patrick Downs somewhere there. And um, down Patrick and um, that city where I went with him that's not far from there and lived with him and his dad in their house and um, I'll be going back again there to celebrate with him what we're doing with the flag to bring the whole of Ireland back together not one for Britain one for them the whole of Ireland as one Isle right Isle the, the land of Isle and uh, the other 
a woman there, I forget what her name, but her too. All those people who wanted me to be with them there, I'll turn up back with you there, and we will go and boot everybody that's not supposed to be there out of our way. Okay, that's all. I'll see you later. I'll just turn this off now. It's now one hour, five seconds, and it's 2.50 p.m. on Sunday, the 28th of July, 2024, saying hi for now. We'll catch you later. Bye. Thank you, Jack.